Pajashig, welcome. Welcome to our unceded, unsurrendered Algonquin territory. Manik Manach and Dishnikas, Algonquins from Barrier Lake and Dochiba. My name is Manik Manach, and I'm a member of the Algonquins of Barrier Lake. And I have to say, I'm so honored to be here today with you. This is an amazing victory for you. This is such a, a huge accomplishment to be able to graduate in the year of a pandemic where all of your classes have been online and where you've been isolated and alone and unable to, to interact with your fellow students and with your teachers in the way that we're used to doing and in a way that uh, can actually open things up as far as learning. And uh, I, so congratulations. This is just, it's so, so very amazing. I know I have trouble with online courses, um, so I can imagine other people do too. And uh, to be able to get through it all and to graduate, I think, is such a huge, huge accomplishment. And, uh, and I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about what, uh, what people are facing during this pandemic and what we're going to continue to face, at least for the next little while. And, um, and it reminded me of a story that uh, we have in our community, so I'd like to share that with you. The Creator had decided to give all of creation the gift of light. And so all, everybody got together, all the plants, all the animals, all the trees, all the insects, all the birds, all the fish, everybody, the humans, everybody got together to talk about, well, how are we going to take care of this gift? How are we going to make sure that it's protected and taken care of? And, uh, and so they talked about it and, and talked about it. And there was this little mouse. And this little mouse, she, she, she said, oh, I have an idea. But of course, you know, bears are big and moose are big and people are big and so they couldn't hear her. So they kept talking and somebody said, why don't we put it way, way up in the sky? Nobody will get it there. So they thought about it and they talked about it and they talked about it until finally, you know, somebody said, it could be that someday someone can go way up into the sky and take our gift of light. So they thought, yeah, that's true. We better not put it there. And then someone else said, well, why don't we put it deep, deep, deep into the ocean? And they thought, oh, well, that's an idea. So they talked about it, and they thought about it, and they talked about it some more. In the meantime, this little mouse, you know, she kept trying. She kept, you know, I have an idea, I have an idea. But, of course, nobody could hear her because she's a little tiny mouse. And finally, somebody said, well, you know, maybe someday someone might be able to go deep, deep, deep into the ocean, and they might be able to take our gift of light. So they thought about it some more and talked about it some more. And then finally there was that little lull. You know how the room goes quiet sometimes. And into that lull, the mouse, she kept trying, you know. And she said, I have an idea. And people heard her that time. And they said, well, oh, there you are. What's your idea, little mouse? And she said, let everyone take a piece of the light and put it inside. Because that way, if somebody's light is failing, we can share ours and so that they, they will have light again. And if we're feeling badly, then somebody can share their light with us. And that way we'll never lose the light because we'll always, everybody will always have a little piece of it. And so that's what they did. And that's why animals and trees and birds and fish and insects and everything, plants, humans, we all have this little piece of light inside of us. It's our life. It's life. And when we see someone who is, their light is dimming, they're feeling badly, it's, it's been too hard a row, that we can help them. We can share our light with them. And you know what? There's nothing that makes your own light burn brighter than when you share it with someone else. And even now, during this pandemic, when we're still in isolation, we can still share our light. We can still support each other. We can still help each other to, to uh, be able to continue and to be able to finish what we need to finish. And so as you're moving forward, you're ending your high school, your time in high school, you're moving forward either into post-sec or you're moving forward into work or into training or wherever your life takes you. You know that there are those around you who will share their light with you and with whom you can also share your light. So I'd like to open this space with just a few words to the Creator. Gachimigwich Jemnado, thank you, Creator. Thank you for the water, 
for the plants, for the trees, for the ones who fly, for the ones who swim, for the ones who crawl, for the furred, for the feathered, for the four-legged, and for the two-legged. And thank you for bringing everyone together here today with open hearts, with open minds. Help everyone to see beauty. Help, help us all to hear truth and help us all to share our light with each other and help keep each other buoyed up and help keep each other uh, full of life. Kachimigwitch, 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 kachimigwitch. Congratulations, you deserve this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Hoke and I would like to welcome you to the West Carlton Secondary School Commencement Ceremony for the graduating students of the class of 2021. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue à la cérémonie des finissants de West Carlton de l'année 2021. For today's ceremony, we have many valued guests who bring greetings and congratulations to this year's graduates, including Mr. Shannon Adams, Principal of West Carlton Secondary School, Ms. Camille Williams-Taylor, Director of Education for the Ottawa Carlton District School Board, and Mrs. Lynn Scott, Trustee for the Ottawa Carlton District School Board. Welcome class of 2021 graduates. I'm your very proud principal of West Carlton Secondary School. I'm sure when you first walked through the halls of West Carlton Secondary School four years ago, you never imagined that your grade 12 year would turn out as it has, with you graduating in the midst of a global pandemic. It has certainly been an emotional, exceptional time, but here we are now to, hold, to honor and celebrate this very special accomplishment and benchmark in your lives. You made it. We also want to take this opportunity to recognize the noteworthy achievements and contributions you have done in helping to make our school community a better place. I'm sure I speak for many educators when they say graduation is the highlight of the school year. Graduation gives us the chance to see the successful culmination of a journey of formal education that began some 14 years ago. It allows us the opportunity to reflect on how our fine young adults have developed and matured over their years at West. This also provides us the selfish satisfaction that us educators in at least some small way have had a positive impact on your success. To our parents and families, thank you for giving us the gift of working with your children and for all the support you have shown us and them throughout their years at West. Your involvement has helped us shape their lives and has certainly contributed to your child's successes. Graduates, I'm sure your thoughts have already started to drift to plans for the next phase of your lives. But let's take a moment and reflect on your last four years of high school. You're a very special group for me because I too started at West four years ago along with you. I'm so proud to have seen you grow each and every year and now I get to see you off. When you started grade nine, graduation may have seemed a lifetime away, but here you are now. 
I think it is fitting that we look back on those years to recognize and be proud of your resilience, perseverance, and the support you have shown your school and community. In your grade nine year, you arrived in the midst of a major school addition, having to navigate the cramped halls in semester one, then the chaos of moving into the new wing for semester two. In grade 10, you felt the social, emotional, and physical impact of having a tornado rip through your community in the fall, and then again with major floods in the spring. Last year in grade 11, you were introduced to the pandemic and watched in amazement and worry as it gradually worsened, ending your year being introduced to the remote learning model. This year was certainly the most difficult of your four years. As difficult and impactful as it has been for you, it is hard to believe there might be any positive takeaways, but I believe there are. You've proven to be resilient and to persevere throughout your time at West and most notably this past year. You've learned new skills and adapted to a totally new learning mode and have succeeded in doing so. This year you did not let COVID stop your drive to do charitable community work as you've done every year at West. Most importantly, when you think back to your entire time at West, remember how you came together on multiple occasions demonstrating to our community that you cared and were willing to step up and help. You've shown our community and city what tremendous character looks like and the amazing things students are capable of. We are so very proud of you all. I hope you leave West Carleton with a greater sense of self and the significant role you will play as productive members of society. I hope you will take note of the lessons learned about character and community while at West Carleton and embed those into your daily lives. I have faith that you will do us all proud as you begin your next chapter. The options before you are limitless and I encourage all of you to fully embrace the opportunities and challenges ahead. On behalf of the entire West Carleton school community, I would like to congratulate you, the class of 2021, on your achievements and wish you all the best for the future. Thank you. Hello, my name is Camille Williams-Taylor. I'm the Director of Education for the OCDSB. I'm pleased to be able to have a moment to bring a few words of congratulations on behalf of the senior team. Graduation Day represents the culmination of years of planning, effort, work, excitement, and sometimes discomfort and worry. This special day represents the attainment of a goal that was set out for you on the first day of school and became a goal that you embraced as your own. Technically, your achievement today represents at least 30 credits, over 3,000 hours of work. Your achievement represents at least 20 hours of community service. It represents experiencing the arts, experiencing French and English, exploring sciences, applying mathematical thinking and reasoning. But that's just for starters. Your arrival at graduation represents collaborating and building a community of your peers and pursuing activities that piqued your interest. And let's not overlook the uphill climb that the last quarter of this journey represented. Over the last year, you continued to work, learn, network, engage while in isolation, on a screen, behind a mask, and at a distance. Essentially, the journey to this day represents a dynamic preparation for what is to come. And what is to come? You all know that you are embarking on your adult lives in a changed world. Some of you are quite certain about your plans. Others may be ambivalent, and I know that there are graduates who want to test the waters before they make up their minds. What I can tell you is that regardless of where you sit right now, the next steps are not clear cut. You will discover opportunities that you never imagined and barriers that you did not know existed. You will have pleasant surprises and you will encounter situations that will take you aback. And for this uncertain world, you, this class of graduates, are more prepared than most. You know how to be agile and resourceful. You have learned how to exercise patience in the face of ambiguity. You know how to stand up for yourselves and for each other. And most of all, you know that kindness, care, and community matter. As we congratulate you and send you off into the world as young adults brimming with energy and anticipation, I encourage you to draw from the real lessons that have brought you this far. 
Lesson one, things are not always as they seem. Think, reserve judgment, ask a question. Lesson two, collaborate and cooperate. There is so much to learn by drawing on the experiences and perspectives of other people. Lesson three, seek joy. You have a long road ahead. Engagement and fulfillment are important. Lesson four, imagine, invent, and create. Our society needs you now more than ever to chart new paths and develop new solutions. And lesson five, value the people who love you. As you make new networks, be sure to stay in touch with those people who have walked alongside you in good times and when things got tough. Enjoy your success right now. Tomorrow, savor the memories. And then, get on with your next move. We can't wait to see what you'll do next. On behalf of the OCDSB leadership team, please accept our heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for the road ahead. Graduates, your time at West was always going to be memorable for your experiences of the upheavals of school construction, community flooding, and even a tornado. But when you first entered West Carlton Secondary, you certainly had no idea that most of your last two years of high school would be spent in a pandemic, a time of massive public awakening to the scourge of racism and oppression, and a time of the ascendancy of digital technology and virtual learning to shape your school experience. To borrow from Charles Dickens and A Tale of Two Cities, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. In this pivotal moment, just think of the tales you'll be able to tell your children and grandchildren. Your graduation today reflects a unique demonstration of grit, determination, and resilience that will stand you in good stead in your future careers. The incredible staff at West have stood by you as they supported your progress, both academic and personal. Your families and friends have steadfastly helped you survive every setback and celebrate every triumph of the last four years. And now it's time for me to say how impressed I am with your achievements and wish you well in your future adventures of post-secondary life. On behalf of the Ottawa Carleton District School Board, congratulations to the class of 2021, proud graduates of West Carleton Secondary School. Hello. My name is Dave Froome and I would like to thank our guests for their kind words. We'll now proceed to the presentation of our graduates of 2021. Each slide will highlight the accomplishments of our graduates, including special awards, subject awards, academic honours, and of course, the attainment of the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. We would like to take a moment to acknowledge the community organizations and individuals who sponsored our special awards and remain committed to helping students achieve their educational goals during very difficult times. Now, in addition to the special awards, the Ontario Secondary School Diploma is presented to a student who has earned 30 credits during their high school career, has completed community involvement hours, and has completed the Ontario Literacy Test. Now, for each student, please direct your attention to the slides where the student's accomplishments and future plans are detailed. At this time, some students will also be recognized for awards of distinction in each subject area and other school awards, including the West Carlton Staff Book Awards, given to students who best exemplify the values of West Carlton, the Euclid Mathematics Contest, the West Carlton Award for Excellence in Co-op Education, and the Silver Medal Award of Excellence, which goes to students who have achieved an average of 90% or higher in six grade 12 courses.
Mr. Bailey will introduce this year's valedictorian. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2021. Being selected to represent the graduating class is a very special honor. The student is chosen by his or her peers based on the following criteria. The valedictorian shall be a student who has shown a commitment to academics, who has contributed in a positive manner to the school community through participation in extracurricular activities, and who is a good person to represent the entire graduating class at this ceremony. Academically, this year's valedictorian is on another level. He was on the honor roll every year at West while also earning the silver medal for academic excellence. In this, his grade 12 year, the valedictorian finished with an overall average of 97.5%. This included a 99% in university level advanced functions and a 99% in university level calculus. His hard work and dedication to his studies earned him the 2021 University of Toronto National Book Award as top student. What's truly remarkable is that the valedictorian was able to achieve all of this academically while also contributing positively uh, to the school through participation in extracurricular activities. He was elected student senator this past year. He was the grade 11 rep on students council last year. He was a top player on the West Carleton soccer team. He's the co-founder and president of the West I Am Club, a group of students who encourage altruism and positivity in the school and the greater community. He even turned his desire to help other students succeed academically, particularly during the pandemic, into a business. He is the founder of Intellectus.ca, a website designed to help students advance in their studies and support each other while working online. He has also been volunteering at a vaccination site this last few months, helping the community get protection from COVID-19. And remember, he did all of this while also earning an academic average of 97.5%. Finally, students were asked to choose a fellow student who they believed would be a good person to represent them at this ceremony. Here is how a few of the valedictorian's classmates described him on their nomination ballots. He is highly respected and responsible, said one. He always has a positive mentality and is there to support his peers. Said another classmate, he is a hard worker and always takes pride in his schoolwork. He has proven his dedication to the school through his participation in various extracurricular activities such as students council. He is very passionate about the well-being of his fellow classmates and he doesn't hesitate to lend a hand to anyone who needs help. And finally, he is smart, very involved in the school, and everyone likes him. He is such a cool dude, not even kidding. Without further ado, I present to you the valedictorian for the class of 2021, Hadi Ibrahim. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, teachers, parents, brothers, sisters, family members, and friends. I'm very honored to be standing here today given the opportunity to present this speech both virtually and more than six feet apart. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my mom, my dad, and my sister Dahlia for all their love and support throughout my high school journey. Funny enough, without them, I wouldn't even be at West. My fellow graduates, while learning over the past few years here at West, we have made some great memories and our teachers have taught us so much. Madame Akra taught us that no matter how old we get, laser tag will always be the best of field trips. Mr. Bailey taught us that the best way to learn something is to experience it. I'll never forget lining up desks as World War I trenches and firing paper balls across the class. Miss Gilby, with the help of her daughter Jordan, taught us that it's okay to let loose and sing that high note every now and then. Our teachers have also taught us that learning can be fun. Whether it be Mr. Amel letting us roast him in class and then roasting us right back, or Mr. Froome's iconic rapping, or Miss Lee always playing music in class, but she should really stick to her son's playlist, and Miss Miller for having an amazing class in general by student unanimous decision. These are only some of the valuable memories we will all remember when looking back on our years at West. But I think the most important thing to remember is that without a doubt in my mind, we are the most resilient class to graduate from the halls of West Carleton. We were tested both mentally and physically throughout our senior year of high school 
having to learn new material at a much quicker pace than during a normal school year. We wrote tests on units we learned the day before. We weren't able to do team projects and labs face to face. And we even managed to deal with all the technical difficulties and glitches of Google Meets. But we pushed through. Every single one of us being here proves that not only we can make it academically, but we have the mental fortitude it takes to move on in life. So be proud, keep your head up, and march forward knowing that we, the class of 2021, have done what no one else has. We spent our entire grade 12 year studying through a pandemic. Now, just like over the past few years, in the coming months, each and every one of us will be experiencing change. Whether it be heading into the workforce or taking a victory lap or going to college or university, change is coming. And as scary as that may be, it is something we all have to get used to in life because change is inevitable. And who is more equipped to handle change and uncertainty than us who, while studying, went into a citywide lockdown, then came back out, then went back in, then came back out, then went back in, and back out, and back in, and you get what I'm saying. We can get through just about anything. And the lessons we learned overcoming all the difficulties in the past year gave us the strength and tools we need to help overcome our future challenges. But before we move on in life, I wanna reminisce on some of our fondest memories over the past four years. Memories like winning battle of the grades with our obviously superior hallway decorations, the crazy dance circles at lunch, and crushing the teachers at teachers versus students basketball game. Or memories like participating in all the fun sports at TOC. Or winning athletic medals like our girls rugby team and our boys curling team making it to OFSA and many more. How about all the fun games our student council put on on Instagram live events that got over 100 concurrent viewers. Or the insane outdoor ed field trips like camping and canoeing. We even raised over $100,000 in support of the Canadian Cancer Society in Relay for Life. So, looking back on our years at West, we shouldn't be sad that we didn't get our in-person graduation or that we couldn't see our friends one last time before graduating. I concede, COVID-19 did take a lot from us, but one thing it couldn't take was all the memories we made along our journey. And on that note, on behalf of myself and my fellow graduates, I would like to thank all the people who brought us here today. To the administration staff for making things run as smoothly as possible given the current circumstances. To the teachers for the dedication to our success and their support and understanding throughout the pandemic. We thank you. To the families and friends of the senior class whose unconditional love, support, and sacrifice has not gone unnoticed. We thank you. And finally, my comrades, classmates, and friends. We pushed through and excelled no matter what was thrown at us. We've come such a long way since the beginning of our journey and we should be nothing but proud of ourselves and our accomplishments. As we say goodbye to this chapter of our lives, remember that the best is yet to come. Congratulations on making it here and I wish you all the best success in what is next for each and every one of you. As Dr. Seuss once said, you're off to great places Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations, class of 2021. This brings us to the end of this year's commencement. On behalf of the students, we would like to extend our thanks to parents and guests for sharing in our 2021 graduation ceremony. On behalf of the staff, we would like to extend our very best wishes for success to all of our graduating students. Commencement is a massive project. We would particularly like to thank the office staff and the commencement committee for their efforts to make today's ceremony a success. Thank you for joining us. So I hope as you move forward past high school, into your summer, into your fall, and whatever awaits you, that you'll remember to be kind and compassionate with each other, that you'll remember to, uh, to take what you've learned from high school and apply it in your lives with your friends and with your family and with your community. And that you'll, you'll be able to uh, move forward in a way that, that, that is, is good. And remember, everybody has a different path. There are so many and so many options and so many places to go. And uh, 
don't be afraid to take your own path. And don't be worried if your path doesn't take you directly where you want to go, because sometimes if, sometimes if you take a right instead of a left, or you zig where you should have zagged, or maybe you shouldn't have zagged, maybe you should have zigged, it brings you to a place where surprises can happen and good things can happen. So I encourage you to, to not be afraid of that, to uh, look forward with confidence and, and knowing that uh, wherever life takes you, um, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to handle it. I mean, you managed to graduate during a pandemic. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So I'd like to close this space uh, with just a few words to the Creator. Kachimigwich Jemnido, we are grateful for the rivers, for the streams, for the lakes, for all the waters, and for everything you've put in our homeland. We are grateful for the medicines and the ceremonies. We are grateful for the fish and the animals and the birds and the good human beings. We are grateful for all the gifts that you have given us and we ask that you help us use those gifts in a way that is uh, beneficial to our families and our friends and to our communities. We ask that you help us reach the wisdom of our ancestors so that we can take that and use it in our lives and help us help use it to help us uh, fulfill our responsibilities. We remember those friends and family who are ill or suffering from addictions and hope that they come back to us soon and hope that they have a good day today and that they are able to be once again role models and, and uh, mentors in our communities. And we ask that you help us live up to our responsibilities to live a life full of respect for all living things. Kachimigwich, 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 Kachimigwich. Thank you very much and congratulations. It's time now to let out a cheer. This has been such an interesting year. We have taught you a lot of cool things. Hybrid, remote, and distancing. My friend, this is the end. So long and see you soon again. Bye-bye, waving so high. Someday we will be back together. Goodbye to the soon. Kiss. We hope you enjoyed the show. Now it's nearly at the end, but I will be back, you know. It will be back, you know. It will be back, you know. You have done your absolute best. In this time of crazy unrest Keeping it as time has gone by Gave us hope when stress was high My friend, this is the end So long and see you soon again Bye bye, I'm waving so high Someday we will be back together Goodbye to the circus we hope you enjoyed the show. Now it's nearly at the end, but it will be back, you know. The band played on from dusk till dawn, and time is almost gone. The heat goes on, it's almost Music marathon. It will be back, you know. It will be back, you know. And goodbye to the circus. We hope you enjoyed the show. 
Now it's nearly at the end, but it will be back, you know. Goodbye to the circus, we hope you enjoyed the show. Now it's nearly at the end, but it will be back, you know.